moving to oneness. Nourishing curiosity. Embracing differences. Becoming one. Hello everyone and welcome to Moving to Oneness. This is Denise Hansen and I'm your co-host along with Mylene Elke. Hello everyone. Perfect. Mylene, it's so good to see you. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Mylene and I haven't seen each other in a little while and it's so good to be able to come back together, reconnect and talk about what's going on today in a different way. I because like at idea. this moment, yeah, at this moment, we are in the Northern Hemisphere. Mylene is in, outside in Germany. I am on the East Coast outside of Atlanta. And um, we're looking at each other via Zoom, and you hear us uh, recording. But for her now, the time is where the, the evening has come. The day has begun to set. For me, we're in a cloudy period, so it's like overcast. And it feels as if we are in darkness and looking for the light. Mm. And that's what we want to talk about today. Yes, 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 yes. It, it's this uh, time to get cozy, get comfortable, put on a warm jacket, especially for us out here in the Northern Hemisphere. <laughs> the snow has come this week after the full moon and uh, brought the cold nights as well. And that has been seldom that when it does snow, that it stays. And I look at that snow at each single crystal, right? It has its own little form. And I'm playing with that snow. I'm reflecting with that snow. And why is it covering up everything at the mm -hmm. moment? Yeah, so everything below can be what it is. So I invite you to be who you are. Oh, that is beautiful, Miley. Yes, love that. Because as we are in the Northern Hemisphere, well, we are into the winter time, coming up on winter solstice on the 21st of December. It is important for us to go within and begin to, you know, kind of reflect on what has happened in our lives. Uh, as we're coming to the end of a year, that's been a little, you know, with everything, but it's been wonderful at the same time, because we've been given an opportunity to dive down deep, ask the big questions, not to stay in the unease of things, it's to be able to look at things from our moving to oneness perspective, because we move with our growth. And this is what hibernation does for us when we're in this winter time period, is to be able to go within, to hibernate, to reflect, to begin our growth process for our next season. Because yeah. as we move into the different seasons, we move into an opportunity of growth, of looking at a balance of the polarity of things going on, you know, the darkness, the lightness, the warmth, the cold, the reflection, the action with everything. Yeah. And also the nourishing when you were speaking, you know, me, the landscape architect, <laughs> always thinking about plants as well. It is the, uh, the depth. So underground, everything is dark roughly speaking, right? And in that period to look also at myself, I love that, and see, am I nourished enough for what is coming? As you were just mentioning, Denise, so beautifully. So when spring comes, I'm a spring girl. So that is when my Oof, you know, the seed opens and jack, I go up, shoot up through the ground there. I have power and I'm fed by the colors and the energy of spring and the, the emergence, the ignitions and all these things. 
But to be ready for this, I rest. I do that anyway in life. I have periods I go out, be fast and shine my light and I'm out there. And then I retreat. I have these times that I like to seclude myself even a little bit. I need a quiet or need to rest in a quiet space. So now is a time period for me too to see, do I have everything that I want, that I desire to create my vision that I have for years? And it's, you know, it's a new year. We have felt the new energies that have come to this ground, to this earth. And how do I play now with these new energies? Yeah, oh, this is I so love important. The way, yeah, I love the way you phrase that. How do I play now? Mm -hmm. And that's a great question to ask yourself. And in a lot of the work that I do, I ask my, my clients or, or the people that I interact with, it's like become childlike. Yeah. Think back. Think back when you were growing up and you were asked, not just who do you want to be when you grow up, but what do you want to do when you grow up? And I think that's a key question for everyone now as we're being given this time to nourish ourselves, to go within, to have the me time and the rest time and that soul moment of listening to the inner knowingness within is to ask ourselves that question is, who do I want to become? What do I want to do as I move into the newness of my growth and transformation through this time, through this season? You know, as you were speaking about spring, and I know that about you because I see you light up when the spring comes. And I'm a fall girl. Mm -hmm. I love the fall of being able to address myself within the coolness of preparation for hibernation, for going into another season of growth and transformation. And with everything that we've done in our lives and in this year, we've been asked to change, to grow, to do it differently than we have before. And not just that, we've been asked to make it easy. Mm -hmm. And this becomes my mantra when I'm asking for something that I desire and, and feel the alignment of pulling myself into something new with the change, with the different seasons, seeing that there's oneness in opposites, whether it is an opposite as we've talked about, but the opposites of different choices, of different verbs, of different words, of different opinions. It's about seeing that even though they are opposite, we're aligned together through our voice, through our communication, through our opportunities to grow. And with this, we get to make it easy because that's how life flows. I love that. Ease. The simplicity, the word simplicity came to my head when you said easy. Maybe sometimes it is put aside so quickly when the word easy is being used. Uh, look at it as a simple, less building stones, right? We always look at complexity and you were speaking so much about oneness. Yes, it is the oneness and it, it is a complexity, but the oneness really is one light, one sound, right? One intent. It's very simple. It is not a complexity. And we all carry this fineness, this gentleness with each, within each other. And so when we sit and rest and contemplate, also with so many of us alone, to use this opportunity for us, maybe with a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, a hot chocolate. In the US, you love the marshmallows on top. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, I miss it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and connect with someone else, even sitting somewhere else in the world, and even the opposite of someone who is maybe in summertime now, to see what is the missing part that will help you then in spring a catapult 
to nourish you maybe now, now what you need in your body, in your thought pattern, in your movement, in your business, in your partnership, in relationship with friends. The list is long. Yeah. So what does someone else have that supports you? Because it's also the time, and as we're saying so uh, beautifully several times, moving together. That means we have to explain each other a little bit also how we function, like I, how I function. I explain to Denise, Denise shares how she functions. So I can get a deeper understanding for Denise. And she has so beautiful talents that feed my, my soul, that feel my wisdom, that feed my beingness. Yeah, and I have things for her because I come with a different approach of seeing things. I have different life experience. Denise has different life experiences she can share with me. So who do you have in your life? Yeah, someone who has always been there or maybe connect, be courageous and connect with others. Because again, you we are looking now at what do I desire to move into yeah. and with the new energies, who would help me? And maybe ask already, you have a friend, ask them, who do you know who is like this? Can you connect me or be courageous enough and use maybe the social media and write it and say, I'm looking for this. I'm going through this. Who is maybe the one that feeds me or the opposite? Yeah. So I think that would be, a fun way to uh, deepen, deepen human connection. Yes, beautiful. Beautifully said, Marlene. I love that. You said so many things there that my mind is kind of going, it's blown <laughs> just a little bit. And I think what it is, is that we balance each other. As you said, the missing piece, um, it's about finding that alignment with someone that helps to fulfill something within you that you do have, and yet it's not your strongest point. And so it's about coming together and asking. And so many times we're afraid to ask for what yeah. we want, you know, and that's just a, a fear that we have. And we get the choice on if that fear is going to live within us or if it's going to live within us and stop us, or if it's going to be within us to motivate us forward. Mm -hmm. And that's where we want to come from, is to understand that, you know, the worst thing that could happen if we ask is someone may say no, we may not get it. Eh, okay, so we know that, but that's great. But it's a growth period to be able to put ourselves into it and ask. Because the most beautiful things, when we are willing to open ourselves up, for the desires we have to be able to ask with compassion and being aligned in that respect. That's what we're going to get back is that yeah. compassion and strength and the, the peace that we need to be able to move forward in a respectful and one way with yeah. everything. To be surprised, you know, the surprising effect when you start a conversation and there is no agenda to yes. it, right? Uh, so what ideas does a person bring? It becomes very creative and it, it builds up really quickly. It's like a spiral of funnel that opens up when we come together. Yes, yes. And I love the way you put that, the spiral of opening up, you know, as, as the plant person that you are <laughs> and everything. Uh, it is about the flowers and the budding and the blooming of that opening ourselves up. As we're talking about this, it's, we're also talking about polarity here because now we're saying at the beginning, we said, go within, hibernate, do the reflection so that we can be healed, aligned, connected innerly with our own self so we can bud flower blossom spiral up and rise from the ground as a new entity a new person a new um soul nourished healthy 
And mm. this is what this time is asking us to do. Whether it is the winter time in the Northern Hemisphere, it's the Southern time, it doesn't matter. Energetically, as we're coming to the end of this year, we are being asked collectively to go within to see what's one more way that we can become healthier within our own selves and make choices that are aligned with love and with compassion. And only we can decide that internally. It's not about looking outside and asking someone, what would you have me do? It's about going within, feeding your soul with those curiosity questions and then asking others to support you on that. That's where collectively we can all come together in um, a new, a newness, period. Yeah, and to cheer, uh, cheer each other up. While you were speaking, the word clarity came. And you spoke about, Denise, before, about the simplicity make, or making things easy. So the more clear you are, The easier, the simpler, with less words, you can express what you desire, what you live for, what your vision is. And there is a certain strength behind it. So I feel for next year, it is the time to be and to go out in a strong way, in the way that you are. Long enough now we have we made ourselves smaller, tighter than we are. But the times have asked us now to this time really, you know, I had to think also about a bear, you know, they hibernate too. And, and that bear came, he's so soft and cuddly, Yeah. Yes. And also the, f the little fat that they put on in the winter to keep them warm. And I could feel when I embrace them how you really sink in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And to take that. But when he gets up in spring, comes out, he looks around. So what's new? What's up? Yeah, so this is like, yeah, in, in, in a good mood, I had to think about Baloo. In the <laughs> <laughs> and he comes, <laughs> comes, comes out. And, but there is a certain certain a certainty because you know now exactly what you are because you can express it. You can share it very clear with others. So there is a certainty and a... And a sovereignty within sovereignty. you and mm -hmm. in a way you reign you reign your own body you move your own body because you know why you're moving it you know how you're moving it and what you want to create with it yes oh my god mylene that's beautiful i'm going to summarize everything that we've said so we can bring it together so we've talked about um going within choosing clarity for our strength making it easy, uh, looking within for the inner voice that you have and asking for the support yeah. that you're willing and open to receive. And that's what this time is about. And that's what we wanted to share with everyone today, Mylene and I did, to be able to say we're moving to oneness collectively. And that means that we are creating within our own selves that alignment of wholeness within nourishment, rest, ease, strength. So on the other side, we are more as one together. Mm, beautifully said. Yeah, it's a collectiveness. What I do, you do, uh, we do. So everyone, take again that cup of a warm beverage Sit down, reflect, make it comfortable for yourself and enjoy being you over these beautiful next few months to nourish yourself. And through that, because you do that, you nourish all of us. So thank you, everyone, for listening to the Moving to Oneness show. Do come to our Facebook group as well, Moving to Oneness. And share your wisdom and share with us how you cuddle up, what you love to do, maybe what book you love to read. 
and let us know how you move to oneness. Thank you and a wonderful goodbye. Goodbye.